Hey everybody, welcome back. I am the Gerbil, and in today's video, I want to talk about the significance of the new stap. Uh, this, if you have not heard, spoiler alert, and not really, I guess, this uh, new droid vehicle was announced this morning by Capital Games, and uh, I think that it indirectly announces the next raid as well as the next capital ship and the next GL. So this is a speculative video, of course. I could be just as wrong. I have a great track record for the last two years, though, of predicting the profundity, Gialea, uh, the Leviathan, and several other things a long time before they arrive. And I've been talking about the next couple GLs and ships for a while, and I think that this is really, really painting a much more clear picture. So stick with me and let's explore it. So what is the stap? Well, first off, it's not a character as much as it's an existing character, a battle droid on a vehicle. And there's a lot of people speculating about, does this mean that we're getting vehicles? And I would point out that we've had speeder bikes in the game for a while now. Uh, this is not new. This is honestly not new. Um, we got obviously the speeder bike with the Leia unlock, and then we got the speeder bike raid. So Capital Games is definitely exploring new things in the game. We had the heroic tank takedown raid, which had obviously a tank. Um, but I think that what this is, is actually just another character in, in all reality. It's small. It's, it's smaller than Jabba the Hutt. It's smaller than uh, Ninth Sister. Um, it, it's, it's not that big. So I don't think that there's any, any practicality to the argument that this is introducing um, vehicles in any real way. But what it does do is adds to the growing body of evidence that the next capital ship is going to be Separatist or Galactic Republic. And I still kind of believe it's going to be the Resolute with General Ga uh, Skywalker Gas as the commander. But there is a growing body of evidence that the invisible hand from the Clone Wars could very much be this summer's capital ship. Why? Because the new STAP unit is obviously a droid. Um, suggested pairing with Capital Games is with General Grievous. And General Grievous, in the Clone Wars, when he lost the malevolence, he essentially commandeered the Invisible Hand as his new flagship. And the Invisible Hand was, in addition to being a flagship, it was a troop transport, carried over a million battle droids. Hmm, that's what the stap is, right? It's a B1 battle droid. And uh, as, as followers of my channel know, where LEGO goes, so too does Capital Games. They just announced, or maybe it was leaked, I don't know which, the Invisible Hand. It's coming out this year via LEGO. So it makes sense to capitalize on, you know, a well-established brand, Star Wars and Lego, and ride that cash flow into the future. They do this all the time. Scythe came out about two months before, the Lego Scythe came out two months before it did in the game. Bosch Helmet for Leia uh, came out. Captain Rex Helmet came out and then we got Captain Rex and on and on and on and it goes. I mean, we just got an indoor speeder bike diorama and a few months later we got the indoor speeder bike raid. So there is a correlation there for sure. Uh, so Invisible Hand, Lego, uh, there, Troop Transport, that's what it is. Capital Games, I think, is right on top of this. Okay, but how does it relate to the next raid? What's my evidence on that one? Okay, well, to, to get there, let's look at our previous raids. So the first new annual cycle raid concept was the crate raid. And in that we had a bunch of bounty hunters under the hut cartel. We had old Republic options. We had Tuscans, Jawans and Jawans, Jawas and Mandalorians. So it's reasonable to assume that the next raid is likely not going to include those because Capital Games wants us to invest in our rosters, spend money, buy crystals, buy packs, buy gear to maximize our scores. So they're not gonna just give us a freebie and repeat these. these. So there were 39 units 
and five factions essentially that we can rule out from the next raid. Now there are presently 260 characters in game and those factions, we take them out, we take out these characters, that leaves us 221 unused characters. Next, we got the speeder bike raid, which is currently active. And in this one, we were allowed to use a bunch of Imperial troopers, a couple of Imperial remnants, uh, all of the Ewoks, a couple of Phoenix, a, couple, a bunch of rebel fighters, um, essentially rebels, empire and Ewoks. 30 available units, take those out. Oops, my math is wrong. Should be 191 um, available units. I'll fix that post editing so the number you see is right. All right, so if we, if we strip out those factions for the next raid, which seems logical, we take out those factions, take out those units, what is CG gonna want us to invest in next? Well, that leaves a bunch of factions left, but in reality, droid, scoundrel, smuggler, ufu, they're not really factions as much as they are a collection of characters from other factions, right? K2SO is a rebel, uh, Dark Trooper is an empire, BB-8 is a resistance, etc., etc. So. Uh, most scoundrels are rebels and bounty hunters, etc. Um, so if, if we if we take out these hodgepodge collections, then we further whittle this down, and this is what we have left: First Order, Galactic Republic, which includes 501st Bad Batch clone troopers, Jedi, which are, a lot of them are Galactic Republic, like an overwhelming majority, I think. Night Sisters, Resistance, Separatists, Geonosians, Sith, Sympath, Empire, and Wookie. Well, you know what? The next raid ain't going to be Sith Empire. Why? Because if you've chased Leviathan, then you already have a Relic 9 um, couple Sith Empires, and you may have Relic 8, Relic 9 Sith Assassin. So there's no financial incentive there to push an immediate Sith Empire faction. And as CG just announced with the stab in the kit reveal, they said, when they're looking at what units we could add that were iconic to episode one for the 25th anniversary, which I've been talking about this for two years now that it's coming, they are focusing clearly on the 25th anniversary this year for the Phantom Menace. What's in Phantom Menace? Galactic Republic, 501st, Jedi. We have a lot of undergeared Jedi in this game. If you just look at the bottom 17 characters alone in this game, the bottom 17 characters, we have Jedi Consular, Kit Fisto, I'm again, the Eth Cost, Kaloran Beck, and Jedi Knight Guardian. And what do they have in common besides all being Galactic Republic, all being uh, Jedi? They're undergeared and they're all alive and well at the time of the, 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 the Clone Wars and um, the Phantom Menace. And then if we add in a couple others, Luminara, Barris, and Kayari Mundi, they're also in the bottom hundred. I mean, the, the, the most geared in this grouping there is Barris at 193. That means there are only 67 characters, 66 characters more geared than Barris, for example. That is where the money lies, and that is exactly what they've done with Jedi, uh, sorry, Galactic Legend Leia, encouraging us to gear up Lando Calrissian, uh, Ewoks for most people who didn't have Chirpa or Wicked into Relic levels. Jabba the Hutt was like Gamguard, uh, Mob Enforcer. Um, there's a couple other Greedo. Uh, Leviathan included Sith Assassin. Like, seriously? Sith Assassin? Yeah. Darth Maul. Nobody had geared really high relics for the most part. So they look at the undergeared characters and they say, where's the maximum revenue potential? And the next raid is very likely to be the exact same. So if we recognize that the next raid in parallel to Phantom Menace, based on what we've recently beginning, based in, on what Lego has recently done, then my predictions for 2024 is that we are gonna see the Resolute, but it could equally be the Invisible Hand, with a Jedi Galactic Republic, count, uh, likely even a Galactic Council, Jedi Council uh, fleet, that includes a potential for Jedi Master Yoda and all the other Jedis, basically, because almost all Jedi are counselors. I could, or pilots. I, I could see them even like gating Resolute behind Kayati Mundi. A lot of new players don't have Cam and they're struggling to get Cam because as soon as you can jump to the, the Rise of the Empire, your guilds do. So, like, my account is almost 11 million GP, maybe it's past 11 million now, 
and I still don't even have a seven star cam. It's remarkable how many people do not have seven star cams. So that that puts the the emphasis there to again spend and buy packs and bundles and kits and things, you know, gear to make those kits up there. And then uh, we we just got Kellen Beck, who of course was a Jedi uh, Galactic Republic and a pilot, and he's supposed to lift B tier Jedi. Uh, whether or not he actually does. It's kind of a nudge in that direction. We got the Bad Batch Marauder, which would, uh, I mean, could go anywhere. Is it going to stay with Negotiator? Maybe, maybe not. They said it would go with Endurance. Um, but again, that points to Galactic Republic. And then um, Separatists, obviously. You know, so who would the logical GL be? If you're going to look at Clone Wars, there's a lot of people it could be. But the only one that really jumps out to me is Chancellor Palpatine. With Chancellor Palpatine, we may have our first unaligned force user or like not unaligned force user but sorry neutral we may have our first neutral uh galactic legend and of course palpatine was not neutral we all know that uh but palpatine chancellor palpatine manipulated both sides both the galactic republic and the separatists right he was the instigator of it and the organizer uh and so we could have a neutral GL that synergizes with both Jedi, both Separatists, and everything in between. Think about how cool that could be, right? Maybe he's nursed them or, or sacrifices them in gameplay to, to strengthen himself. That could be a lot of fun. Anyway, folks, this is just speculation. But I think, I think that, that Stap, Beck, Marauder, Raid logic <laughs> really point in this direction and if capital gains isn't going there i would just be floored i would just be absolutely floored at a significantly missed opportunity for capital for capital games anyway folks if you enjoyed this video please hit that like hit that subscribe um i would appreciate it and i will catch you all later on the holotables bye bye